would be helpful. Hello, hello everyone. Hold on, the screen is changing now. <laughs> Welcome. Good afternoon. It is now March 17th. This is a live stream coming to you from my studio in Illinois. Uh, the weather, uh, is it cold outside? Daddy said it. Huh? Daddy said it. It's cold out. Oh, it's cold warm. outside. Uh, looks drabby. Very, very uh, cloud cover. No <laughs> sun. No fun. There's the little handies saying hello, hello. Hi, Shelly's. Hi, Daddy. Love to you, ladies. Thanks for joining me today. Hello. Let's start a new project. Uh huh. I know. And I said hi back. <clears throat> Go wash your face. You got ketchup on your face. Cheers, everyone. Gigs. Yes. I love. <clears throat> hey, 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 hey. Back up the bus. Oh, well, I'm waiting. I can. Take it in the other room, baby. Thank you. Yes, that's my name. And probably not today, baby. No, because I'm not doing any, really, I'm just doing the construction stuff. I know, not this time. Oh, this one. Yes, that one I think will go nicely. Ollie, good boy. You can ride, but just keep keep it on the down low, son. Keep it on the down low. He's fine, Daddy. He's fine. He's, he's being good. As long as he's not, they're not yelling. I can concentrate. I see more people coming in. Hello to my wallflower seats. Love and hugs, everyone. But mm, it's more blue than. I want to watch you. You want to watch me? Okay, sit down. Be quiet. Oh, you guys can't even see my whole screen. Let me fix that. I never know how zoomed I am. There we go. Zoomed in I am until after I get started. They're all saying hello. What does that one say? Just says Joycey. She she's talking to another girl in the chat. Oh, that one, those ones are little. I know. Sit down. Be quiet. Okay. Fabric. That's a fabric. Right? No, it says floral. Oh. Okay, I think I have enough to fiddle with. Hello, hello, I see some more people coming in. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Love and hugs, everyone. Don't be shy if you're new. Come on in and say hi. We won't bite much. <laughs> Kidding. We're we're we won't bite. Promise. And uh, 
No, not that one. Not uh, no, probably too much yellow. This is what I'm looking for. Oh wait, I forgot about that one. That one is white. Okay. One of them is just white. No. Oh, that's the under. That's the underneath. You take that off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Definitely have enough to pick and choose through. Again, we have to get the initial. Uh, the initial construction done and this is all floral pretty much but that's i need to sort that probably won't happen for a while but i should do it Yeah, she's talking to another girl in the chat. Oh, still? Yeah. They talk to each other. They're not here to talk to you. Okay. Now, bad One of these has kind of more purple on it, I think. Oh, this one's in half, so I'm definitely not going to use that one. Not going to use those ones? No, because it's already separated. Oh, this is the one, I think. This is the one, so. Um, not this not one. that one. Not this one. No not one. today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> then I was smiling, smiling in the camera and waving. You were? Uh -huh. Yeah. Keep them <laughs> occupied until Grandma sits back down. <laughs> <laughs> She'll keep you occupied, guys. She will keep you occupied. Yo, Melody. <laughs> ah. Hello, little Maybe I like hand. This better. <laughs> Hello. Hello, little Yeah, you recognize. Nice. Yeah. I have all my fabrics um, recycled, sorted. Um, I love those ones. You do. Can I pick one? No, oh, maybe that one. Those ones look, look, these ones look, look Christmassy. These maybe, are Christmassy. maybe this one. These are Christmas I ones. I gotta look at the, I don't unfortunately have um, the ability uh -huh. to print <laughs> the. Um, Oh, the the pack, the the digital collection that I'm going to be using for this. Um, but we're not going to be using any of the paper today, so I can't show you guys. Because um, if I print it, it's going to come out all purple. Because I have no ink right now. Because Hewlett Packer is like is they send me one, and I'm I'm I print you know 300 a month, but you're going to only send me one um ink printer every time like why can't you just send me a couple and then um <laughs> oh, i, okay, I want to see what kind of stuff is on here i'm looking at all of them oh it does got a little bit there's some there's purple it's got a little bit of um oh, like a maroon yeah. in That's there cool. yeah. okay Got a rose in there, 
Uh, can we like not yawn so loud? Sorry, just had it going. Okay, yeah, purple and maroon is and greens. A little bit of blue in there. Yeah, oh, this is such a pretty kit. I can't wait to play with it. Oh, and it has one file folder in there. That's great, actually. Okay, so I think probably this one's too bright for what I want and this one maybe some maybe this one I think this is probably going to be the better one um yeah this hey take it in the other room <clears throat> and I want um that's too red I want kind of like um uh, Giggles over there. No giggling over there. Okay. I kind of wanted. Um... Oh, happy St. Patty's Day! Happy St. Patty's Day, everyone! I, I, you know, hey. I don't have any. Um, Fabrics. That's. Oh wait, what's in here? Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. <gasps> Whoa. Pull out from my special stash here. Oh, this might. Uh, ah, don't touch. Yes. Maybe some of this on there. Yes, yes, yes. Getting there. Yep, I like that one. Yep. Okay, because I kind of want it bohemian sort of uh, look a little bit. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I have, I mean, I have a vision. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to come through, but we'll see. Easy go. Yeah, we'll keep that one. We'll keep this one's kind of pretty too. No, okay. We'll start there. I don't want it boho necessarily, but I want it um, like vintage bohemian kind of aesthetic. Um. You may see. I want some. Oh, I want some lace on there, but. I want to put some lace down the spine. See what you guys are talking about. And say hello to anybody's come in. Tara Lee, my sissy poo. Hi from Cold Wisconsin. Hi Jules. <laughs> uh, Yo, giggles. Hey Judy. You gonna you gonna read the chat for Grandma? 
Good. Grandma won't have to read it now. Hi, Janice. I can't, I can't see. I know. I got to make sure I catch everybody. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Where's this is. This is. Happy St. Patrick's Day. This is. Um, Oh, that's 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 it right there. Oh, this is the one. Bug you. Oh, it's not straight though. Darn it. What else do I got in here? Oh, maybe some of this one. I don't. I don't miss the. This one is not really straight either, but I think I could. Oh. And that's better. I don't have to dye it. I hi. Okay. Ooh. Thank you, Giggs. Is Andrea here? Flo's here? This is the. We got an email. Last time I talked to her was like a week or so ago. Junk LOL. Okay. This is the junk LOL. Yeah, this is the junk, Shelly. <laughs> But this, this, this tree right here, other than this green thing and this, is like my, like, like this is all from like gigs. This is all from somebody. A lot of this is specialty. Um, oh, that's kind of pretty. This is all like my, my hoard, my, my stash. Whereas this one, that's all like, except for this, is all bought stuff or thrift store stuff. Ooh. Maybe some of that might that, be nice too. That one looks, that one well, looks we're gonna get rid of this cool. white here for a second. I'm gonna put that this back. Like oh. You like what? I like the um. Uh, can't see it though, but. Well, you can tell me. Sit down. Be quiet. Okay. Um, I think that's good enough to get us started. Uh, probably gonna pull out something oh, from was, Giggs's ba uh, okay. box too. So I'm gonna leave this like out. Those white flowers. Huh? Those. Oh yeah, they're pretty, huh? Yeah. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is, these napkins are not for right now. This second. Okay. okay. So I am making um, for, for this junk journal, me and Um, I wanted to have somewhat of a a vintage boho fabric cover. Um. And it's going to have the insides, not this one, this is going to help with the cover, but the insides are going to be of um, recycled envelopes and file folders. Um, so like, and it's going to be folded in half like this. And um, I'm going to separate some and, and then I'm going to want to use this, this, and this. Um, so, hey. That's what we're working on today. I do need to figure out. This is eight and a half by eleven. These are, I think. Oh, sorry. Ouch. Eight and a half. Oh no, these are eight and a half by eleven and a half. So, how far do I want to come in? All right, eight and a half. Oh no, these are nine by eleven. And. 11 and a half so if I come in an inch that'll give me 10 and a half and then I could do five and a quarter width that'd be fine I think okay so so this is I want to give this is 11 and a half so I want to go to like 12 and a half like one extra inch um, because I want the cover, the cover is going to be a, a soft, um, pliable, it's going to have the calico on the inside, then it's going to have, a, you know, a layer to stabilize it, and then it's going to have um, the, the, what we do on the fabric cover on the, you know, but it's going to be soft and flexible, and I'm looking forward to um, working with that. So, if I go 12 and a half, that'll give me an extra half an inch on the sides. Will that be enough? Because you guys seen my last one, how chunky it got. And I'm just trying to think. How, how, how big was this one? This one was. 
this one was oh this one was 14 roughly Heep. yeah this one was almost 14 across so actually maybe i should go to 14. doesn't matter if there's a little extra um this will be up in the shop um once I'm back from surgery. I don't want to put anything up in the shop right now um, because I'm not going to be in a position to, um, you know, prep, prep it for shipping. So um, this and the other Junk Journal pro, uh, Mega Kit will go into my shop as soon as I'm out of surgery. Um, um, uh, baby, can you go see uh, get Grandma's eye, eye, uh, glasses in the bedroom for me? No one. No, there's no measuring actually. <laughs> In your case, there's no measuring. Grandma, um, Ollie took a cough drop and he put it on the desk. And That's all right. Well, it could be thrown out. So okay. these are what? Oh, the okay, yeah, these are way too big. So I could actually use the actual spine probably. Let's um, let's first go with this. This would give me 8 and 8 is 16. But that one side's going to be taller. So let's just even this up, shall we? Start there. And, um. Hey, knock it off. Now the dogs are going to get rowdy. This is going on the inside, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I kind of want to. Let's just go down here. This should be enough. More than enough to give me ample room. Nope, Tara, if y'all if aren't into the measuring, do your thing. Go rogue. Now I want to make sure there's an even amount. Uh, okay, so six and three quarters. Six and three quarters. Yeah, six and three quarters on that side. Okay. Double checking. Six and three quarters. All right, let's just, this should be perfect for what I need. will be 14 that'll be good all right and then we want it like a quarter inch uh, or maybe like an inch taller because I want to keep we're going to keep that I'm not cutting these down uh, I'm not cutting them down they're going to stay exactly the size they are as far as their um, size and width. So on the height, I want to go this is nine and a half. I'll go ten. We'll keep it at ten, and that will give me enough left over. Um,
Yeah, perfect. Okay, fantastic. So then we said we had we need 14 inches on this. Actually, I did move them. I was smart like that. So, uh, do I want to keep that? No, I want my own sewing. So, that over there. I think I want. That's kind of more in color scheme, I think. So, we'll keep that. This will be the majority of it. Now let's just make sure. Perfect. It's long enough. Nice over here. Thank you. All right, so we need 14. Where do I want to start? But I want to keep most of this. So actually, let me just take off an inch over here because I don't want to keep that um, sewing there. I want to get rid of that. So maybe I'll take a couple inches so I can use it for something else. Uh, Yep, we are, I'm starting to, um, I'm starting the, um, uh, purples kit. Um, the prep work, um, because I don't have, I, I ran out of ink, so I can't print the darn thing to show it, but I will show it in the next video, um, for sure. Because uh, my, pro, the, they said the ink shipped yesterday or something like that, so I should have it hopefully in a few days. Um, but yeah, I'm starting the uh, construction for the Vintage Purples kit of Nathalie from Line Dot Arrow. Um, and if you look her up on, or if somebody can get the link to her shop on Etsy, you will find the Vintage Purples kit that I'm going to be working with. Um, so we said 14, right? And this is only 13. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to start here, give it a little bit. So, I'm going to go to here, just to make sure that I have, let's double check that we're going to fit within the space. Perfect. Okay. Okay. take off this, the crazy edges that we have going on. Baby, what's up? It's yellow. It's yellow. It sure is. Mellow yellow. Thank you, baby. This is called a rotary cutter. Don't 
looks like a pizza cutter. <laughs> it does look like a pizza cutter. Okay, so there is going to be our base top fabric. Um, the best ship is for yes, it is. I might have missed all those up in the wallflower seats. Hello, hello, everyone. Okay, so we're not going to talk. Now we need to do the same for the under layer of the calico. Sure, oh, too, still too close. You guys gotta tell me when I'm too close and you guys can't see everything I'm doing. Okay, that's so probably a little bit better. These things are really, really nifty, I'm just telling you. If you ain't got one, you should get one. Okay. Okay. That's that. This is the leftover fabrics. We're going to put this in our my leftover bin, and if we need them, they'll be there for a later time. All right. Now I know... This is left over too. Okay. All right. This goes over here. This is my bag. All right. Now the first thing I'm going to do, let's get a drink of my coffee. Cheers everyone. Okay. It's wider and that's fine. But I'm going to take this, but I got to decide what kind of closure I want to put on it because if I'm going to hide a closure, I want to do it now. Or no, I'll do it on the t uh, at the top part. That's fine. So in the next step, if I'm going to do a tie closure and hide it, because um, again, it's going to be a fabric cover. This is going to be, I'm uh, going to sew this to here first. Um, this will be the, the under the under, but then I gotta decide, do I wanna, well, I could always sew that in, uh, right? What do I wanna do, what do I wanna do? I wanna put something in here, do I wanna put fabric pockets? Do we wanna put fabric pockets on here? Cause that's gonna detail what I do next as well. What do we wanna do, what do I wanna do? I think I want fabric pockets with some crochet lace 
copper on them. I think that'll be pretty. So I gotta decide. That might be where this, where some of this comes in at. This fabric. Oh, that would be pretty, huh? There's a pocket. <laughs> Do we like that? Do we like that pocket? Um, yeah, because I'm going to put some of this on the outside and then bring it on the inside will look really pretty. Um, do I want to attach this to, uh, where's my, oh no, I should have a piece out of here. Again, I'm kind of talking to myself because I'm talking to myself through my, what I'm going to do because this is the first time I'm uh, making a full uh, well, it's been uh, the first time in many, many years that I'm making a full fabric cover. I think that well, it's, it, it doesn't matter. Is it going to show enough? It's not going to matter. Okay. So, no book page underneath. So, that's out. But I do like, I think I do like this pocket. Um, and then, I could always put little bits of stuff. Because this is going to go on the outside. And it's probably some of this and some of this. Yeah. Uh, pocket on the front. No, I don't. I don't know. I was debating that as well, cause you know, cause again, I want it somewhat boho-ish, right? Oh, not boho. Uh, bohemian, like vintage bo bohemian, is what I'm kind of going for. Um, so I want this as the base, and then I want to put some of this fabric somewhere, you know, kind of like, so this is our front um, and our back. Like, I just want to put, I want to make it, you know, and then I want to have some of this, some of this uh, on there as well. Um, and then this is going to go down the spine. This is going to go down the spine. Right. Thank you, Dental. Yeah, I thought it would. Uh, I t again, I don't have the printed papers, but when I pulled them up again on my screen, um, this was the best of the ones that I had that I liked that went through it. So um, it's going to be a uh, vintage bohemian um, and then you know uh, like wildflowers thing and some of this on here as well like layer it I'm thinking somehow some way and this is bright we could always um, I could always vintage this up we could throw some um, antique linen on it uh, let's see what we like to kind of bring down the if, if it's too bright we could always or I have the Victorian velvet or the milled black. Let's play around a little bit for a minute. Where is my antique linen? Hello? Oh, it's out here. Let's see if we like any of these, um, you know, any of these colors on here. Kind of, that's kind of nice. This is the lavender. I'm thinking the lavender is probably going to be good too. Just to tone down the background. Yeah, I'm doing inside pockets for sure. Oh yeah, I definitely like, I think I like the lavender the best. But let's see what plain antique linen looks like because you know that's going to make it look even more vintage. Oh, it's got too much pink on it now. I think. Of course, the mixed looks pretty too. Yeah, so that's what we're looking at. So, this really dark color in the corner here is the velvet, and then we have somewhat lighter which is the milled lavender and then this color over here which is the um, antique linen 
think I do want to color it up. I don't think, I, I think it's too bright. It contrasts too much, so it needs something to tone it down. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the milled lavender on this, just to give it a light. I don't want it to overtake. I think that one, the velvet, overtakes it. So I'm going to stick with the lavender. Let's just see what we get here. Oh, I do have tea. Oh, you know what? We can die. We sure can dye it. Hold on. I have my tea dye. Let me go get it. something that I can't look. It's like another white ice cream, but it's different. Okay. Well, don't tell Grandma. If I can't look, you shouldn't tell me either. <laughs> I know, but it looks different. Yep. Oh, what is wrong with you? Come on. Oh, don't tell me. Really? Do I got a faulty yeah. bottle? It was working the other day. Oh well. All right. So I'm just gonna pour it in. You can tell this fabric is from the factories. It's got that um, resistance to it. Ooh. Tea is cold. Let's dry that up and see what we, we want to put more on it or not. Thank you, Omar. We're going to try. We're going to try to get there. No. Oh, I'm not looking, baby. No. Grandma's work. Grandma's just moving stuff because she's got to clean up her mess. Yeah, I think it's the right bit of, I don't know why I didn't think of tea, because like tea's like one of my things, my go-to, like hello Shauna. Alright, let's dry this baby up, see what we've got. Because you know, it always dries up lighter than it actually is, so... Leave him alone, Ollie. Y'all see the color? I like it. It's, it's on there. Grandma dumped it in the spray stuff, or the tea already. That's what's in that bottle. That spray is the tea. Like the wet stuff? Yeah. Remember how white it was a minute ago? Now it's not white anymore. <laughs> That's what the, the tea does. It makes it all yummy and pretty. Mm -hmm. Is it like the purple and blue? Or... No, it's, it's this color. It's this 
this khaki, beigey, yummy. That one? Yeah. Oh. a little damp but it's fine it's fine all right okay so we have all right. yeah much better much better so I'm thinking this is gonna go down the spine oh it's a present oh wow so cool you want to show them your artwork? Okay. Let me put your... Okay. So, wait, guys. So, here. Put your hand over here on this side. So, she gave me a... She made me a present. Puppy. Peekaboo. <laughs> Hila. Hi, love. <laughs> okay. Go sit down. Okay. So, um, again, I want it... Uh, I don't know how I want to place... Again, I want it to be kind of vintage, antique, boho-ish, or bohemian type. Uh, so do I want to do strips? Don't know what I want to do. This is going to look so pretty once I figure out what I want to do. Let's see. Do I want to do... I could do... Oh, and I'm not going to make this straight. I'm going to leave that crooked. Is there another piece that's just... Yes, yes. That's going to be crooked. That's going to go, I'm going to, probably going to bunch that up even more, like, like across the, the middle, and then put like a corner of this on there, maybe something, something vision, Shauna vision. Oh, maybe like that. Maybe not too much. So you get like a couple of those little um, applique spots on there. Put a little bit of this. Maybe put some of this crooked too. Thank you. I'm trying to get there. Um, you guys can pipe in if you have thoughts. Uh, I'm using the lace. What is the lace you sent me, Hila? Because it just it just goes perfectly. Um, I'll have extra of this too. I could always take the extra and we could you know put it on here somewhere. Um, 
because this is only gonna need cute this is only gonna need what did we say this was for the it's only gonna need like i'm gonna give it up to there i think yeah for the spine it's only gonna need there to there so I'm gonna have that and then again I don't know where to put this but I know I want to have some of the applique showing and then for some reason it's telling me it wants to be at the top I don't know and then some of this on here And then I'm gonna put, we can put some of this on here somewhere, some, some, somehow. I can, I can. Oh, I can. Um, we can pleat it or something like that. And then I could put like a piece of this on the front as well. What do we think? We got a collage, people. We got to think collage. Pretend it's paper. What will look better? Well, first of all, these need to go right side up. Uh, oh, they're all which way, so it doesn't really matter. I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know if that should be at the bottom, maybe? Get off me. I hate looking at it he's got a little bit of like of a different color because it obviously it was a sari that was cut down um and there was a brown color mixed in here so i got just a little bit of that and i think i, I think i'm going to put that on here too somehow because i know to be I uh, want big patches of fabric because with boho they don't do like it's not going to be like a normal patchwork kind of deal it's going to be um, that's not going to be the wrap it's just going to be sewn on there as well but it's going to be something I'm not putting a lot of pieces. I just want to put a piece of this and a piece of this and a piece of this across the, the, the front. I just don't know how to do it. I have a vision. <laughs> it's bringing my vision to life. Y'all know how I roll. <laughs> it's plan and hope for the, it's, 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 it's do and hope for the best. <laughs> let's do, let's tear this down. Let's play with this corner that kind of got that we colored on first, kind of give me an idea. Um, I love the sound of tearing paper and especially tearing fabric. Okay, pretend that's not there. Or, somehow or maybe this needs to go down and this needs to go over it the colors are right the aesthetic is right let's fold this so we can kind of get an idea of how much fabric we're putting on there Please. 
or should I just, or should I do more of this? Oh, I'm also gonna put um, uh, maybe bits of other la uh, lace with maybe some a few buttons, not a lot on this one, just a few. Not down the spine like I did the other one. Although I have another, I did tell you guys I um, I do have another. I'm gonna have a play off of uh, 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 Natalie's uh, spine. I have another vision for a, a button spine. I did tell you guys that. What if you weave the fabric? Uh, hmm. So, like put several st strips, like, oops. And then, like how are you thinking for it to be weaved? So large strips. Oh, no ink. What? Darn it. Hold on. Let me see if uh, the mailman delivered ink for me today. Thinner strips and take. Well, I, I am. I am. Wait, my barber's got now. Hi, Barbara. Anyway, by the way, love. <laughs> try the dark under the lace peeking out under. Oh, on the spine only, you mean? Well, it's not going to go all the way up and down, but that doesn't matter even still. Oh, we might be getting somewhere, guys, actually. If this is what you're talking about. Something like that. Or less of this. More or less, I should say. So you want to you be able to see these little applique things. I don't know if you guys can tell... See the little shiny uh, sequin applique on there? So I want to see a little bit of that. Um, wherever I put it, I want to be able to see a few bits of that. I love where that color, make, make, oh, just love that. Well, I, we do have a piece of the lace that can go on the front somewhere, or I could we can uh, I can make strip make a couple strips out of this. This one is for the spine, but this one can be in, intertwined into the the big one. So this is what you're talking about on the spine, Barbara. Yeah. A piece of it coming out from the spine, and then the lace, right? And then, shh, shh, shh guys. I want to put some of this on here, so we could put this, and it doesn't have to go all the way across, it can just be, you know, like a patch or something. And then we've got this to put on here, pieces of this, I love this too, and it's the perfect, perfect combination. You like the two together? I'm okay with the two together. What do we think? Lace over the the sari fabric? <laughs> no, I'm increasing the beauty of your spine. Take it.
taking that idea and adding to it. <laughs> now, now, my spine, on the other hand, again, I go for surgery on the 30th, so I will be <laughs> out, of the, out of commission for a couple weeks. You're not sure, but I uh, like the two together. I would want more dark. Okay, so, and we can make this, this doesn't have to be as wide either. Like we could, I could cut it down, right? Which actually might be really good. I want to keep the brown showing and maybe bring it like that. And then like this, right? This is going to go on the spine, so a little bit's going to hang over, right? Well, let's just, okay, so pretend that that's folded over. Um, just to get a visual, right, guys? Okay, there's our visual, so there's that. I'm liking that. Then we need to bring this in and bring this in, so, because this is actually really pretty, and it's going to go super nice. Oh, yeah, no, I'm just, I just pulled it. I love the fabric. I love the feel of the fabric. It's like upholstery fabric, but it's not thick and rough. It's so soft. Um, but the colors and that, and, and, and you know me, I don't roll with... Um, but the, it's just the cover, but there are full fabric junk journals. I see them. You know what guys this this could potentially be the wrap what do we think put it as the wrap I mean it's long I'll cut uh, obviously we have to cut it down some but we could do that too we could leave it to bring it in as the wrap um, yeah So maybe with a little bit coming up, maybe like this. And then we either take this as the wrap or we can fit, fit this in somewhere here. I just love the pattern and I, you know, it's, it'll go with the aesthetic, with the, the papers that are going to go within the journal, right? So. Um, yeah, we could always put more in there, put some across, and we could put, you know, we could make a block out of it somehow. Good idea, what? Which one? <laughs> Which one, Giggs? Which one? Run that floral vertical under the lace edge. See, it's so soft. I, I don't know if it would stand up. It's so because it, it's sari material as well. Um, so I don't know if it would hold up under the uh, uh, to be a wrap um, because it's so sheer and and thin and silky. And is this what you're thinking, Steps? I know I need to find more lace that's all like vintage -y and in in terms of style. Not that's kind of pretty. Yeah, it's I think it's too thin to be the wrap though. Yeah, I, I think it's, I just, I don't know, I'm like, it's strong, but it's, 
Do we think it'll hold up as a wrap? Uh, I could always put, I have some extra, um, I could, I could mix it in with another color of this, um, of this, um, this is, um, this is that sheer, really silky material too, I can't think of it off, uh, oh, oh. um, I have this is another kind of that same silky material okay so we can we could either do something like that and I still I still have enough we can put some on the front um, as well as being a wrap and I can, I can mix this in we can mix this wrap part in with like um, I have this brown color or tannish color it's kind of hmm. will they go together I don't know well they might although I or I could take the white and we can tea dye it do we want to do that the nude's kind of pretty too So it's a little bit, not just one layer of fabric as the wrap. Baby, baby. Yes, yes. This. <laughs> yes, no, maybe so. Okay, Diggs, Debs, uh, is that what you're thinking? Put some down the spine and then um, the rest of it as the wrap. And then question two, do we want to mix it with any other, uh, if, uh, some more of that uh, same kind of material, but a different color, like uh, one of these plain blocks of color? And then we still have, we still have this piece that we're going to put somewhere. Don't know where yet, but it's going to go somewhere. So we like this, huh? We can decide on the wrap. Uh, well, no, I got to decide on the wrap now because, um, actually, let me put, let me get the piece that I want. Who in this? I like the how the how this has that roundish. It's not straight. It's kind of roundish. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. Peach. Let's check peach. Ugh. Of course not. Okay, this is for the front. Okay, so this is the wrap part. And peach. This is the peach. And now, now the paper line that we're working with is vintage purples, but it does have some of that maroon color it's got a, a little bit of blue in it um but it is primarily and it's not it's not like the paper's colored purple it's just it's it's a really pretty paper pack i wish i could freaking print it um do we like the peach peach okay peach it is all right so let me make sure I don't want that little piece. Where do I want to start? It's got to go. Let's see. One, two, three, and a little bit more. So let's just clip that off because that over there. So, and then this, the, the peach, which I'm okay because I love all these colors. I picked it out. But I, that's what I forgot to do. Oh. <sighs> Pen them. That's I got pen oh, a few pens and I meant to pen them. Okay, so 
That's the wrap. Perfect. Done. Let me just fix my fabric here. why I can't think of uh, what this fabric is. It's very much like sari silk, but it's not. It's, um, and this is an off-white. This is a really pretty off-white, too. Dye the, the peach tea. Ooh, we could do that. Ooh, we could do um, where it's not, where I kind of dip it and it's not like dyed all over. No, because then it'll get that tie dye look. No, nope, that's not a good idea. Do we want to dye the, the fabric, the peach fabric? Yeah, I am going to sew it into the spine. Um. Uh, We'll put this somewhere, somewhere. Um, okay, so let me. This will get put in the journal somewhere. And this little piece somewhere. We're going to do the bottom first. It's not polyester. It's uh, that really soft uh, oh, fudge nut. The package doesn't say. Or it's, it's kind of rubbed off. It's, um, I don't remember. Well, it's on the tip of my tongue and I can't get it out. Can't get it out. All right. Um, yeah, so. Do we want to dye this? Or no? What do we think? Because I still got tea sitting over here. I need some water while you guys decide. Exciting, huh? Well, I gotta put it in now because I'm getting ready to sew the bottom part. So you all need to decide. I can go either way. Do we tea dye it or not? the paper I can't yeah well let me bring it up on my phone um, I can I can do it that way Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, and now it's going to let me. It's going to let me turn it. No. Okay. Let me put on uh, autofocus or focus. Give me one second, guys. Hi, Ruth. Well, I have more of it, so I'm. I decided before I got uh, into this that I was going to tea dye it because I have more of it. So it's going to go blurry for a second, but I want you guys to. Okay, you guys are going to be able to see it. So let's see which way is up. Okay, so here is. Let me make sure you guys can see the at least the colors within the paper line that I'm gonna be. Okay, so that's that's one of them. Oops. Hello. Oh, I'm upside down. Hello. Okay, so the paper might be upside down. I think. Uh, maybe not. It doesn't matter. You guys, are, I just want you guys to see the colors. So it's, it's very much lavender. There's a little bit of blue in there. There's a little bit of the beige. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's a really pretty pack. Got a, got a little bit of the maroon. It's got some maroon in it with the red. All the red flowers are kind of like a maroony color. Come on. Yeah, it's very pretty, um, and I was I was so excited when I seen it. Yeah, I have got no ink in my printer right now, and I'm waiting for HP to send me a. Uh, it, they've already shipped it, so they, uh, let's see. Today is what Wednesday. I think Monday they sent me the email that they shipped it, so I should be getting it any day now, depending on how long it takes. I don't know. Um, oops. Come on, hello. Um, so yeah, that's um, uh, yeah, it's very, it's very vintage, very, very, you know, lavender, purplish, blue with some maroon in there. So um, um, I can't wait to get to see how this uh, journal's gonna unfold. I'm so excited to play with it. Um, okay, where? Oh, and let me bring back my focus because I forget sometimes nope that's still not right let me I need something that's got does that look, does that look right guys okay And I think it'll calm it down. While I love the peach, I think it'll bring it more to the, I think it'll just be better tea dyed, my personal opinion. Okay, I'm gonna leave this in there a little bit. It needs to. I did not. That is Line Dot Arrows, my uh, um, design team member, uh, the one I've been designing for the last few months. Um, she's asked me to stay on. Thank you, thank you, Natalie. And um, she's here in chat, by the way. Line Dot Arrow uh, is here, and um, that's one of her her packs. And uh, that's the one I chose to work with for this month. And I want to hopefully get it done before my surgery on the 30th, so. I do have distress ink, uh-huh, I do, absolutely. Joni, hi dear, I think I missed you coming in. It is, it is a, paper, a beautiful paper. Uh, 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 Pookie had pointed it out. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Natalie, Natalie, is that a, a new pack or is that a, a, a prior design? I can't remember. Um, but I, I 
didn't, I don't know why I never selected it before, but then, um, you know, Dar pointed it out to me um, a few days ago um, that she'd love to see it. And so I went back and see it, and I'm like, oh my God, how could I ever miss this paperback? <laughs> um, but I don't, I don't, yeah, because I think it was already there. I don't think it's a newer one. Yeah, that de definitely made it better. And we can um, grunge it up a little bit more um, with some vintage photo, for sure. So let's give this a, a dry really quick. Get this so it's kind of spread out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we can bring in a little bit of darkness on maybe on the edges or something. One big brown one. They are perfect to die. I don't understand. Vintage purples, Deb. Yeah, if you'll grab the link, that way everybody can also um, maybe check it out while they're in chat. Maybe they'll watch. Uh, oh, that reminds me again, just as a reminder, I said um, yeah, on Monday, guys, you, there's a code for 25% off for my viewers only, for my channel, for her Etsy shop. Uh, Line.arrow25 is the code. Make sure you put that in at checkout to receive the discount. Um, but it's only good at, through the 29th. So if you see any of her paper packs that you want, get them now. 25% off is a good deal. Oh, look, it's getting some of the tea stains on it. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Love it. Where it, it cut off, where I was, because I was scrunching it. Like, look. You guys can see that spot right there. A couple of the spot there. Yeah, so it looks... Ooh, here's another spot. Oh, no, that's look, that's just strain. Thank you, Gabs. Yeah, the code. 20, uh, line dot arrow 25. All one word. Use that at checkout. Um, you get 25% off everything you purchase from our shop between now and the 29th. So you've got just a little over a week um, to purchase from her. Um, Deb's going to grab the links. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put a little more, um, I think I'm going to put a little more um, vintage photo in some places. Uh, trying to just distress it a little bit more. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Look at that nice stain I got right there. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Love it. We got another little stain there. Okay, now let's do a little bit of um, vintage photo. I don't want it really too dark, but I want to kind of... it up a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you all for helping me figure out how I wanted to do this. Because I had a vision. I just didn't know, like, where I was going with it.
you guys know I love my vintage. That's why me, me and Natalie get along so well. <laughs> um, oh, and I did the, the redesign of the last um, image for my new uh, set, that uh, my new collage pack that I'm going to be coming out with. Um, so now I just need to put it all into Photoshop and finish designing some of the actual other papers. Um, but so that's coming and it's going to be completely different than anything I have now. Okay, I don't want to overdo it. Just, uh, it looks good. I like it. Okay, now let me clean up my mess. Thank you, Debs. Yes, there's a coupon code. 25% off for any of my viewers between now and March 29th. <clears throat> I think some of you have already went there and purchased and I know I don't have good view you're only getting the front down view but I can't um, I can't set up another camera I have the equipment to do it but uh, my OBS not quite cooperating very well okay so what I'm going to do what we're going to do is is first we're going to um, we're going to do the bottom first which means we're going to bring in the, um, the this. Now, I need to put it in half. Ooh, did that shrink or something? Hmm. Oh, no, that one I left a little longer because it's the primary. Okay, that's fine. Let me. in here first yeah. I just want to give this a little bit of sewing and then I will sew over it when we put on the base page There's one side. Now I'm going to do the same to the other side. I'm going to get it even. Or I'm going to try my darndest to get it even. You know, in the same spot across the way here. So.
now we're going to hide that with our bottom fabric. cut off whatever or we'll tuck it in not sure yet but okay. I need some clips If you're doing um, a fabric cover, you just want to take your time for those that maybe have never done one before. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna sew and I'm gonna go right over that um, sewing that I did for the um, for the the wrap. Pull it taut, not too tight, but enough to keep it um, straight and firm so you don't get a wrinkle in your fabric. And that's, the clips are helping me do that. Still want to keep the fabric firm when you're going as you're going along.
the bottom I knew it. That's okay. I'm not worried about it. Made right, so yeah, have a wrinkle. Damn it! I did not keep it as tight as I would have liked. That's all right. It happens. Let's see where should I put it? I'll put it more towards the middle. Or do I want to bring it more towards here? You know what? Um. No, that's fine. Talking to myself. Thank you, Hila Love. Have a great day, hon. in there but that's all right and except for the when I turn the machine off and on um, my stitching is actually pretty straight okay now I put that aside um, let's deal with this 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 here all right, that goes over there. So that goes over there. So let's get a piece of this. I don't want it all the way over. Let's That's one thing I don't, I'm, I don't, I don't So let me just put that there for a second. Okay, so then I want about I don't know. You guys aren't seeing what I'm doing, but I'm I'm prepping the 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 top to so kind of get an idea of. Uh, how we're going to do that. Okay. Hmm. Damn it, now I wish I hadn't cut it, but that's all right. That's all right. I'm still going to wrap it. Still going to cut that piece off and just wrap it. So I do want a little bit um, to go across the um, back, I think. And apparently, I need my other scissors because I did a terrible job. Let me just straighten this out. Oh, it's not too bad. Awesome. Must be torn and tattered anyway. Alright. So 
that over there. Put that over there. And I don't want to double it. Yeah, I think I like that. And then, but I think I will. Yeah. Actually, gonna work out better. Okay, so I want this brown to be shown on the foot. But let's deal with our strengths, shall we? Okay, I think I want to. Um, Hi, Deborah. <laughs> yeah, because you know I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Very straight there, Shauna. That one slightly went off the rails, but that's okay.
I need to make this like a little bit straighter and a little bit frayed. But I think I can fray it after I sew it. I don't want to go over the fray and I want to leave myself room for the fray so I'd like to see if I can I can partially fray it or fray it before I sew it that ensures that you will have um, at least a starting fray or one that my hair. This fabric is so delicate. I want to uh, make sure that I don't um, damage it. So I'm taking the sewing machine a little slow uh, because it's so soft and so um, delicate. I don't want no no weird wrinkles and stuff. May seem quiet. Can somebody let the dogs out, please? Oh, Melody. Melody. Come let the dogs out, baby, please. Thank you. Them dogs.
now is where we're going to go a little little diagonal because the piece of fabric I did cut it straight which I didn't want it straight so I'll show you in a minute, hon. Or you mean sewing them is what you wanted to see. All I did was do the the under uh, side, uh, which is just basic calico, and then I sewed in the the wrap in it. Other than that, nothing special. We decided, yeah, we decided this was going to go on after that. And, um, let's see. Because this is going to cover. Where's my lace piece? Oh. This is going to come. I need to mark. I need to kind of see where this is at. See what I'm dishing up over here. Um, getting a feel for where the actual um, center is going to be, or the spine rather. This is the side with the rounded. I want to round it on the front side.
nope, this needs to come up a little more. So this needs to come in right about Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay. Let's see if I can manage to. Put in the beige thread. Oh no, this is my beige. Okay, good. I thought this I had white on there for a second. Actually, I probably should just do one at a time because. Um, the signatures are the actual, there's going to be, there's a file folder, uh, uh, the, the, the construction is going to be file folders with signatures inside the file folders. So the signatures are not going to actually be sewn into the cover. And... Don't know if I like that. Hold on a minute. I think I want to sew down the middle of this and leave that um, leave that kind of fluffy or uh, you know. I don't know if I'm going to like sewing all the way around, so let's just... Ow! Mm. One moment, please. you Joni I hope your baby gets better give Paul a hug for me I 
anybody? Sit down. What are you doing? You want to do what outside? No, you're not going outside. Scissors are nice. They're sharp though. And I knew that eventually one day I was going to slice my finger. Luckily, it was today. What did I just do with that medical tape? Oh. No problem. We're mixed media artists. I have medical tape, I have gauze, all is well. Now, it's not gonna be, it's not pretty, but it's protected and it's covered. Okay. Jeez, <sighs> one thing is another. Now, back to this. I want to go down the center of this, not the sides, because I want it to be fluffy on the side. So I will take out that little bit of stitching after I finish sewing it, because then it's on there. down the center because then the lace will hide the stitch stitching because this I don't really want to sew that shut so show the stitching on it I kind of want it to be kind of like welcome back oh it doesn't hurt just it's bleeding like a stuffed cow I don't think I really want to get blood all over my project and um, you guys don't want to see a bunch of gushing blood so any overages or anything until we get this done. Use your scissors properly, Shauna. Yeah, 
that'll be better. Now, I can take this. First, let me get the stitching out of there that I don't want. Glasses are going off, guys.
Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Sound is good. Okay. Yeah, whenever it goes out, I do, uh, I have uh, my team text me. Um, so, uh, okay. And so, um, yeah, never fear. If, if you can't hear me, give me a minute. I will be, I will be working on it. Okay. So, this is our spine. This is what we're looking like so far. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. This is what we're looking like. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me put my eyeballs on so I can see what y'all are talking about. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So now what I'm going to do is quickly now attach this to this and hope that we did it all right. And it looks good as far as the spine goes. Looking good. Yep. Spine seems to be in the right place. We have our wrap. And now I'm going to do a zigzag all the way around instead of a straight stitch. Oh, God help me, it will work out right. Corner starts right there. Okay. Okay. I just want to see how it was going to feel going through the paper, so we'll speed it up a little bit. Okay. Maybe not. should have kept it at the lower. That's okay. That's all right. I will. This machine does, takes two seconds to rethread. Where are you? Normally. Okay, there we go. 
got, it didn't, it wasn't, it didn't break at the needle, it broke, uh, it got caught up elsewhere. No biggie. This thing has an automatic threader, so it really just takes me uh, a minute, a second to re-thread. Normally, it just takes me a second. If I wasn't all thumbs, it'd be a lot easier. But, well, that's just not in the cards right now. All right. Let's try this again, shall we? Shauna, patience. They say it's a virtue. Shauna doesn't listen sometimes. Okay, let's start here. I don't mind that it's going to overstitch a little bit. Make sure you guys are still hearing me. Awesome, Chris! That's awesome! That is awesome. I knew she was going to love it. If I loved it, I knew she was going to love it. Okay. So let's try this again. Okay, let's go back to our, our slow-mo. Let's see if it was a fluke. here because it's a little bit thicker. I'm going to take it a little slower. This is where the, the wrap is at. Too bad that that spot was on the front cover but you know what it doesn't look bad so Why, why are you questioning it? Because um, when I picked it up, it was empty. Okay, and? Did you finish They're it? mine, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so why are you questioning me? Okay. <laughs> Make sure that I am. I hope I didn't go down too low. We'll see. Not doing a very good straightness job today. Am I still on the spine? Yeah, but my spine looks a little. Yeah. Straightness police are not going to love me today. Actually, I should have, um, no, because, well, I could have, actually. I should have done the spine last, but that's fine, because now I'm going to be going over the spine, but it's fine. It's still going to be pretty in the end. It's still going to be beautiful. Texture and charm. Yeah, it's got a lot of that. <laughs> Definitely going to have a lot of texture and charm. Oh, cause they were licking the bed? No. They were... Oh, because they were outside? Uh-huh. Oh, well, Grandma will clean it later. Okay. What are you doing? I'm just watching. You're going to watch Grandma? Uh-huh. Okay. How are, you, how are you cutting that? I'm not cutting it. I'm sewing it. Oh. Because it's a sewing machine? Yep. machine. <laughs> Kid, you crack Grandma up. It's taken. Because it is like a sewing machine. It is a sewing machine. It's not like a sewing machine. It is a sewing machine. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Because it has a seam on it. It has a needle. And it's, uh, uh keep your fingers out of there. What's the rules? It, it has the white thing on it. Uh, 
I don't want it. I don't want it. I, I want. I want to try it because it's gonna make me loud. It's gonna make me loud. It's gonna... gonna make you what? Spit it out, child. No. No. Oh. Cause you know. I am. Well, that's okay. I don't care. <clears throat> you know what? I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna think. <clears throat> How did I go to bed? Yeah, Grandma, I'm gonna, I gotta see if I goofed up. No, I mean I probably did. Uh, okay. No, I didn't. What? Got a oh, because Grandma cut herself. Oh. But I think I got it wrapped too tight. So you maybe take the pressure off. Now Grandma has to... Sew it? No, I'm not going to sew my finger. There's no sewing. There's no fingers inside the sewing machine. That's not how we roll around here. Sew my finger. Kid... There's blood on it. Oh yeah, because Grandma cut herself. Oh. Sew my finger in the sewing machine. Who are you? <laughs> you guys should see the crazy smile he has on his face. Lorna! Hi, Lorna. <laughs> well, not, well, yes, I'm, I'm, you know, I, don't, I, I do videos too, but um, I tend to try to provide entertainment. <laughs> I should I get up or down? Yeah, hold on, you. Be quiet a minute. Grandma's all crooked over here. go lay down because I know you ain't got to go out you were just out hence the paw prints on my bed now Oh my goodness. <laughs> you okay? Uh -huh. Okay. You got a hole in your head now? Oh. You need to go to the doctor? No. Oh, okay. So you're okay? No. Okay.
pretty good. The only thing I would say is that, um, well, first of all, I gotta finish uh, cleaning up this, but um, the, the darkness of the threads, I mean, it's not like super apparent, but you can see where I, I put the, the whatchamacallit on there. Clean this off and see all these strings. See how it's looking, and then I might have to. We'll make any adjustments we need to do. Okay. not straight and that's okay I, I don't mind that it's not straight um, now I just need to figure out how I want to deal with the edges oh no actually it is pretty kind of straight huh who knew I thought it was crooked um, Did I give it enough room? Oh, I might have. We'll check that out. But, hmm. Do I want to do... Um, how did I... if I want to just cut the edges or if I want to sew the sew them uh, you know hem them in, hem them around I don't know but I'm trying to get rid of all this extra string um, bear with me I'm trying to look at it do I want to I think I want to I do still want to fray unless I Hmm. I could hem them in and bring this around. Yeah. Stop it, you two. Unless I just, hmm. Night, Natalie, thank you for coming, hon. Thank you. <laughs> Macy wants to impersonate me again. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, uh, gotta decide how I want to deal with the edges. Do I... Uh, just want to, uh, do I want to, you know, fold and hem them in and do another stitch, a straight stitch around, right? So it's got a nice, nice edge to it. Or, yeah, because I, I want, I, I want to come around that file folder a bit more. So I think I'm going to do that. Okay. All right, let's just do that. And then that way, this will make sense coming all the way out. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do a quick straight stretch all the way around to hem the, the edges. So hem them under, in, however you wanna. You guys will see what I'm talking, you guys know what I'm talking about. May not use the right words, but y'all know what I'm talking about. And I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to, yeah, let's do that, shall we? Oh, 
one minute, guys. I'm going to put you on mute for sure, for real this time. Hello, I'm back. Yes. I probably have that stitch on here. Um, but um, I'll have to look that up later. Right now, no. We're just gonna we're gonna make it we're gonna make it simple. We are going to make it simple. Just gonna do a straight stitch all the way around. The exception of um What is the problem? Hold on. Why did Chris have to leave me now? Are you his boss? Are you his parent? Are you his parent? Are you his parent? Are you his mom? His dad? His grandma? No, right? I'm here, right? You let me tell him what, what? You need to not irritate him. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. Don't care. You're not the adult here. To the store Why? to get stuff for dinner. Oh. Now back to what I was doing. It's raining outside. It's, it's what? Yeah, I know it's raining outside. Hmm. 
Hmm. Should I miter both corners? Oh, it's been a while. I just fold it over. No, because we got to clear. I got to miter both corners, don't I? I do. Yes. I do. I think. Wait, no. I'm just sewing it into itself. So, no, I don't need to. Well, that's not going to be right either. Oh, think, Shauna, think. This still has to stay out. Thinking. Give me a minute. That one over. Oh, do I fold them both in? That's what I need to do. Oh goodness, Shauna. Okay, now I'm on. I'm cooking with gas. Hello. Grandma's thinking too hard, probably. <coughs> That's what we want, like that, and then, yeah, we got to miter both corners. But I'm, I think I'll miter after. Okay, all right. <coughs> match.
Sorry about that squeegee noise. the fold that I want so bear with me got it on the side but that corner does not want to cooperate now what bud now what what you doing young man I'm a robot you're a robot now he's a robot now guys he's a robot he is the robot Remind me why I talk to myself. Yeah, I might her too far. God bless it. Uh, arg. Okay. Well, I did make one goof. Um, I mitered the corners too far. I should have not should have taken that into consideration. in the corners I guess after I get it sewed together so together Ollie do not mess with him enough to be noticeable. The 
definitely enough to be noticeable. Does not want to. Am I not going in far enough? What is your problem? Yeah, you can give me, you can get me quadruple monkey. Because <laughs> I, I definitely might are too far in, but that's all right. That is okay. Anyway, I haven't done a cloth cover in forever, guys. So this is, and I don't, I don't remember how I do them. And by used to, I only did a couple, and it wasn't with a sewing machine. It was. It was with glue, so yeah. Do I want to? What happened? Oh. I heard my name. Well, I heard Grandma. That was close enough. Come on. Of course, it'd probably be easier if I um, took my glasses off, number one, and
Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me now? You guys need to be quiet in there. Hello, hello, hello. Sound is on. Okay, great. Yeah, for some reason when it does that, um, I have to go into the setting. The both of you out. Go play now. Out. Out of my room. Both of you out. I'm not arguing with you. You know what? I'm streaming right now. So you got about five seconds to get out of Grandma's room now. You go play in your room. Yes. Yeah. Can we do a video in our, on our TV in our room? My oh, iPad. you mean my, my, no, my iPad? No. My what iPad does not you? leave my room. The answer is no. Get out. This is what happens when you guys... Hey, you, pick up his shoes and put his toys on. <laughs> oh wait, now there's an echo? Hold up, hold up, hold up. That's because... Is there an echo now? Night, Lorna. Can you hear me now? Is there an echo now? What's going on? Confused me. I heard I seen echo in chat and I'm like, what? Because it's done that before too. Okay. Stay right there. Thank you. to see if I was able to catch it this time.
that note to self. Don't pre martyr uh, miter corners. Just saying. And I should have known better too. Okay. I should have definitely known better. And where were you guys? You guys should have stopped me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I had a... Me and the scissors were are in fighting terms today. And apparently it won. Um, sewing scissors are very sharp. Mm -hmm. Sewing scissors, very, very sharp. They're not to be played with. Of course, I wasn't really playing with mine. Um, I was using mine. I just, well, we just didn't, we were not seeing eye to eye today. Never mind that it was user error, you know. And again, this is not a tutorial. Um, yeah. We don't do those things around here very often. I share, I don't teach. That's the deal. Where's my... the deal. I share, I inspire, I don't teach. about that for shaking the camera. I had it all perfect too. And then what should I do? She put the she put the 
the wrap. painful side and we will be done with we didn't get to any envelopes today but you know we had planning to do that took a while and I think it took us it took us an hour just to plan how we wanted to do the um, fabric collage. My finger has it. <laughs> Thank you, Shelly. <laughs> Shabby has a little couple quirky quirky spots on it and nothing major but it uh, you'll see um, but it's looking it's turning out pretty okay despite my odd internal corners which um, we'll figure out a way to fix the, the inside corners somehow some way I have faith in us I'm gonna backtrack until I know I got it. Double stitch these corners. I don't know why. I can't seem to get it for the first time around. Oh well. She just got told when you were at the store by me about that. She is not the parent, and she seems to think that she needs to get involved.
Where is my tool? My stuffer tool. Yeah, you do? <laughs> no, I just, I haven't, you know, I haven't done this in a while, and the last time I did it was with glue, and my ex my experience with the sewing machine has been quite so many years, so I'm re, I'm re, uh, um, introducing myself to the machine after, like, I don't know, 15 years, 20 years, I don't know, it's been a while. My kids were little, I remember that. And my son is, well, actually, so probably be about 25 years. Yeah. This is what not to do, <laughs> or how not to do it. <laughs> not what not to do, necessarily. Well, except for mitering the corners early. Um, Well, one thing is the person who, who, who purchases this journal can be rest assured <laughs> that this, uh, um, that this, that the stitching and, and, and by, <laughs> that the, the fabric collage ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I mean, never mind the fact that I overkilled it, but um, <laughs> it's definitely uh, the stitching is... <laughs> Is, pop, is not going anywhere. Put this over here for a second. 
itself Please. back in order, proper order. Good thing I ordered uh, more medical tape for binding and stuff. Because um, probably going to need it in the craft room. <laughs> A lot more often, but oh, oh my goodness, silly, where are you? Santa. Oh, you're Santa. Uh oh, they're breaking. I broke that one. Okay, keep the volume down, guys, please. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's see what we're what we've got going on over here. It's probably painful for those that are that have been sewing for forever and ever. It's probably really painful for you to watch me. But and you know it's not exactly straight and all that and it's a little bit wonky and I've got got to do something about my inside corners now I don't know what but maybe I'll put little bits of lace or something or another's or I don't know I, we, we will figure out something I like the way it feels. Love the way it feels. All right, let's see here now. I mean, it's on the spine, but I got it a little bit wonky at the end. I think of glue. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do something. I mean, I could glue lace all the way around on the internal side. Different kind of lace, naturally, because we don't have enough of the, this one. All right, sit. Moment of truth. Oh, look at that! It's gonna—it's all gonna fit in there, and I've got enough room to to give us working room. like me and it's got you know it's a little puckered because it's no. stiff and not you know worn in and it's got ain't got all its stuff in it yet and, but um yeah I like it That's what the back will look like you know and add some, some lace around the ins I'll just put lace all the way around I'll glue lace all the way around. Um, I'm not doing any more sewing on it. I don't want. I don't want to go from sew from the uh, uh, inside to the outside because then you'll have the you know the stitching underneath is not as pretty as the stitching on the uh, you know on the top when you're sewing something. So yeah, but I'm very I'm very much liking it. It needs a you know I still need to put a I want to put a few buttons on there uh, maybe and. Uh, maybe a little bit of lace on the outside, other than we still have this piece too. Get all the strings off of it. Ah! You like it, gigs? Good. Or maybe I'll put this on one of the pockets. You know, we'll do the cloth pocket, right? And then maybe I'll cut this in half and we'll put 
that's what I'll probably do. We'll put cloth pocket here and half of this at the top of the pocket and same for this side. Yep, that's what we'll probably save this for. You guys need to calm down over there. And then um, I'll put a thin, a thin lace. Nothing big, but I'll dye some, uh, I'll, I'll get out some other lace that's this kind of material. You know, I got that, all that other lace that's this kind of material. It's not vintage, of course, but, um, and I'll put a really thin um, lace all the way around. That'll make it, and that'll add to the, the boho, bohomi, bohemian, boh yeah, bohemian uh, uh, effect. All that over there. I love that we dyed our, our, our peachy. Um, it definitely looks worn and vintage. Um, we, we're going to ink up all our, our, file, our two file folders. Our envelopes. Um, oh no. I'm going to do that. No way. My grandkids can't cut themselves. Because um, their grandmother sure doesn't know how to uh, work with scissors today. Um, yeah. This will go back in our my cloth pot for now. This is this and this is over there. So tomorrow um, I'll come on and probably earlier during the day. And um, you know, because when I came on at what, 2.30 today, 2.15 or something like that, I'll probably come on about, uh, you know, 10.30, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Hello? Oh, why aren't you cooperating now? Thank you. Hello? Keep that. Those are extras. That's garbage. Oh, I want to keep this little piece of. This will go into my fabric pieces. This and this. Yes, we need those, some of that later. All right. Okay, it's great. So thank you. Thank you, Dottie. No pink, bu no pink buttons. No, no. They're, I'm going all with like mother, mother of pearl buttons. Um, and I'm not doing a lot. There's only going to be a few uh, on there. Uh, I want to use the vintage ones that I have. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, we'll, 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 you know, I'll stitch around uh, one of the flower images from the paper um, separately, and then um, we'll glue that on um, as, you know, a little accent. Nothing big. Um, this is going to be it. If I do anything, it'll be like a little floral maybe, you know, kind of like we did the last time where we put just a, that, that uh, accent piece of... Uh, and I sewed on it. Um, we'll figure out something. Uh, if, if that's if I do anything as far as flowers go. Um, more flowers are going to be on the inside. You know, nothing dimensional, I guess is my point. It'll all be... No. No, 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 no. Um, it'll be, you know, flowers from the kit. Um, or if they do fabric, it'll be like one layer, like just little flat flowers and I'll put you know like a little cluster but it'll be flat and it won't be pink no pink this is not a pink kit so but uh, yeah tomorrow definitely working we'll finish up this I'm gonna leave this just the way it is tonight um, and then we'll start working on the envelopes that I have set aside um, hopefully my ink will come tomorrow at some point so, thank you guys for coming. Thanks for all the love and support. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. 
stay safe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, bye.